is Dr. Bill Bailey and this is Vertzine. Vertzine is the online magazine of virtualization and cloud computing. We're here to talk about virtualization, what's going on in the virtual world. So let's get started here. This is uh, an article that I posted actually some time ago, but I'm telling you, there are a lot of interesting things going on with this particular product. Um, it's not quite there yet. It's called Cantivo, C-A-N-T-I-V-O. It is open source VDI. And uh, I thought I started the video. <laughs> I have a video here on the website, on the Vertzine website. So if you go to V-I-R-T-Z-I-N-E.com, you can actually watch the video. And I encourage you to do that because it's a neat little run through of this particular system. Oh, by the way, I got started and got right into it and forgot to say, we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on the Vertzine Netcast. Now, Ken Tivo, I, I'm excited about this because it's open source and it's a virtual desktop infrastructure tool. Now, I'm working right now where I work my regular day job <laughs> at High Point Regional Health System as a server engineer and we are rolling out right now a VDI solution, virtual desktop infrastructure solution of VMware View. Now obviously the SAN, the boosting up the network, the uh, solid state drives, the uh, licensing of the software, it was a very expensive project to put together but it's going to be a tremendous benefit to our clinical staff. This product, Cantivo, is boiling down the essence of a virtual desktop into an open source project and it's free and open source. I will say this, it is not quite ready for prime time, okay? Not like VMware View. But it's the beginning of this particular open source project. Uh, Cantivo is a managed virtualization platform using the Linux KVM hypervisor and the SPICE protocol fully managed from an intuitive web interface, which is really neat that they're using web interface. Matter of fact, uh, VMware View is managed from a web interface and now VMware, this is new to version 5.1 of VMware that just came out recently, will have a web-based interface. Everything's moving to the web interface, which is really neat. Installing the software, Cantivo software, takes under an hour. Afterwards, you can use the powerful uh, multi-platform VDI client to enjoy unsurpassed multimedia capabilities streaming from your virtual desktops to anywhere in your network. And then it talks about the open source group that's behind the project. But watch the video. Go to the website and watch the video because I think you'll be amazed at what they've been able to accomplish so far. And like I said, they're just really getting started. They're going to continue to develop this and eventually it will be a um, you know a real contender in the desktop market so I think that's something to really watch out for. Now next item we have here is there is a vulnerability that has been identified in VMware vSphere in the API and VMware identified it and has been able to come up with a patch for it but it's important that you apply that patch because it is a very serious security breach opening in the uh, VMware vSphere API. So I'd encourage you to check out this article, look, read over the links. It's a fairly, fairly long article, but, and I won't go into a lot of details of it, but I will say this, you really need to check into the security breach and what it could mean to you and how it could open up your systems. Now I know a lot of you have VMware behind a firewall it's not at all exposed to the outside world and that you know obviously is is going to make it safer but remember that most security breaches occur from inside the network through social engineering through people in your own organization trying to breach the system so anything that opens it up even if you're behind a firewall is no reason to feel safe if you will so check into that patch Next item here, Microsoft Application Virtualization with AppV. Now I haven't really looked into AppV so much, it's only been recently that I've looked into AppV um, Application Virtualization. I gotta admit, what little I experimented with it was very interesting, particularly with regard to the idea that it might be something you could use to replace Citrix. Now, 
<laughs> I'm a Citrix guy, have been for many, many, many years. Don't get me wrong now. And I've got a lot of experience with Citrix. But the idea that I could do it, you know, very cheaply, particularly with a Microsoft product. You know, there used to be a saying back in the early days when I started in computing, nobody gets fired by going with IBM. <laughs> They were the big dog. Well, Microsoft was the little dog that was nipping at the big dog's heels, and it was risky at that time to talk about going to a Microsoft solution. Now Microsoft's the big dog, and a lot of people think, well, you can't go wrong if you go with Microsoft because, you know, they're the enterprise software leader. Certainly that is the case, but I never really thought about Microsoft for application virtualization. And so I started looking into this app V technology, and particularly now they've come out with version 5. The Microsoft Desktop Optimization Pack, MDOP, is a suite of tools available to Microsoft Software Assurance customers that enables IT admins to manage Microsoft environments more effectively. App V, one of the tools included in the MDOP, has been updated with significant enhancements IT admins and users will appreciate. And then he talks about what is AppV. Well, basically, it is application virtualization. The idea that you can, you can basically capture an application, put it in its own separate environment so you don't have to install it on a PC, and yet run it on that PC remotely without having to install it. And, and that is a tremendous benefit. ThinApp is VMware's uh, version of application virtualization that we're using. Uh, at work and this app V is an interesting tool because as it says if you're a Microsoft volume customer you can use it as part of your volume license agreement so it's certainly affordable if you want to try it and kinda you know play with it I'm kinda looking into it myself to see if it's gonna be beneficial for us to use I'm certainly not gonna replace ThinApp with it because it's proven to be uh, very beneficial to us there at the hospital. So, but it's always good to look into these technologies and see how they work and what the benefits may be. And particularly if you're a small business that's still under a volume license contract, this might be a good way to go to look at application virtualization. All right, well, we've had a fairly short program today, but I wanted to catch you up on some of these things and wanted you to uh, particularly hear about Cantivo and uh, app v and maybe kind of you know whet your appetite to do a little experimentation do what I, I like to call skunk works projects where you try things out in the lab and see if they'll work out for you in the real world so remember until next time keep your head in the cloud <laughs>